everyone, Tim Spalding, Trance Channel here for our daily Course in Miracles lessons together. Uh, today we are doing lesson number 67, Love Created Me Like Itself. Today's idea is a complete and accurate statement of what you are. This is why you are the light of the world. This is why God appointed you as the world's saviour. This is why the Son of God looks to you for his salvation. He is saved by what you are. We will make every effort today to reach this truth about you and to realize fully, if only for a moment, that it is the truth. In the longer practice period, we will think about your reality and its wholly unchanged and unchangeable nature. We will begin by repeating this truth about you and then spend a few minutes adding some relevant thoughts, such as, Holiness created me holy. Kindness created me kind. Helpfulness created me helpful. Perfection created me perfect. Any attribute which is in accord with God as he defines himself is appropriate for use. We are trying today to undo your de definition of God and replace it with his own. We are also trying to emphasize that you are part of his definition of himself. After you have gone over several such related th thoughts, try to let all thoughts drop away for a brief preparatory interval and then try to reach past all your images and preconceptions about yourself to the truth in you. If love created you like itself, this self must be in you and somewhere in your mind it is there for you to find. You may find it necessary to repeat the idea for today from time to time to replace distracting thoughts. You may also find that this is not sufficient and that you need to continue adding other thoughts related to the truth about yourself. Yet perhaps you will succeed in going past that and through the interval of thoughtlessness to the awareness of a blazing light in which you recognize yourself as love created you. Be confident that you will do much today to bring that awareness nearer, whether you feel you have succeeded or not. It will be particularly helpful today to practice the idea for the day as often as you can. You need to hear the truth about yourself as frequently as possible because your mind is so preoccupied with false self images. Four or five times an hour and perhaps even more, it would be most beneficial to remind yourself that love created you like itself. Hear the truth about yourself in this. Try to realize in the shorter practice periods that this is not your tiny solitary voice that tells you this. This is the voice for God reminding you of your father and of yourself. This is the voice of truth replacing everything that the ego tells you about yourself with the simple truth about the son of God. You were created by love, like itself. And that is lesson number 67, love created me like itself. Let's see what Jesus has to say today. <clears throat> you are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And one of the great distortions of the teachings of your society about me has been that I am am the only being that can be wholly loving, that I was the only blessed son of God, that I was special, that I was made so different from you, that I could accomplish miracles and that I could live in heaven forever. Not true, dear ones, not true. You are all the same as me. There is only one road. Some of us are further along the road to love than others, but you are all beloved by that creator that you call God. Now, the creator that you call God is incorrectly defined by all of you. That is okay. We do not worry about details like that. What we want you to know is that your return to love is what will allow you to redefine God in your mind. It is not about redefining God necessarily first although there is some implication of that in this lesson. But when you start telling the true story of 
what you are in relation to that God and what that God has given you, the ability to create, the ability to love, the ability to fear, you have been given absolute freedom. But you have been flailing around in the ditch of life, we will say. This is a phrase our dear one likes to use when she has fallen off the path. She refers to herself as flailing around in the ditch. And we think it is quite an appropriate imagery to bring to mind. You are not making progress when you're flailing around in the ditch. You are caught up in the brambles and the mud and slipping. You are not moving towards love. But that is okay. The path remains there for you. Cleared and clarified. But you must climb out of the ditch. And one of the things that pushes you in the ditch is your definition of God. Because you have been taught about a vengeful God. You have been taught to be God-fearing. You have been taught that you cannot trust your inner guidance. That evil is afoot in there. Don't go inside. You will find the darkness. So stay outside. Hand over your power to beings who are very, very happy to take it from you. Very, very happy to wield it over you. And this is something for those of you in modern Western society that we really want you to understand is that the powerless, the powerlessness that you are seeing reflected back to you by oppressive governments, by increasing rules, by increasingly unloving societies and uh, oppressive regimes, you are seeing your belief in your powerlessness reflected back to you and you will change the world by doing this course in miracles. Yes, it's called A Course in Miracles for a reason, because the world will change when enough of you are doing this training into miracle-minded thinking, aligning yourself with truth, aligning yourself with love, because love is what holds everything together. Even those that are wielding power over you love it. It is their love affair with power that is giving them the ability to create it. It is giving them the ability to create situations and structures in your world that teach you that you are powerless and small and little. You must now take back your awareness of love's presence. You must say, ah, I have the ability to align with love too. What is it that I love? What is it that I want to create? What is it that God is speaking to me about through my passions? Is it equality for uh, all races around the planet, then work towards that. Is it uh, care and love of animals? Then work towards that. Do not battle the evil, but invest your daily life with love of the things that you are guided to strengthen and enhance. You must be educated properly to be able to understand that your love of something, your passion for something, it doesn't matter whether it's art or animals or organic farming or education. If that is your passion, that is God speaking to you through love. And that one that you know is Jesus. And we will speak to you again tomorrow. Mm. Lovely. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.